In your, per in your professional public service and work life, as well as personal life, what have you done to promote equal rights for the LGBTQ community here in Arlington? So, in my personal and professional life, I think that uh, the best way that you promote equal rights for any minority, whether it be LGBTQ uh, or an ethnic minority or religious minority, it doesn't matter. The best way is to demonstrate and lead by example. Uh, and what I can say is that in, in my business, we've hired uh, many people uh, of all different walks of life. And it doesn't matter where they come from. As an employer, I want the best person for the job, bar none. And uh, I'm very proud if my mother was here tonight, she would love to share this story because uh, she was blown away. A few years ago, we did a little uh, um, CHS, Current Home Services, cookout at my house. She was invited. And at this cookout, we had an African American and, uh, uh, and, and a Caucasian mixed couple. Uh, with children, we had an African American and white gay older couple that was there. Uh, we had a, uh, a uh, somebody who was uh, one of my employees who was married to an Indian. We had a, lot, uh, a couple of uh, people from the Latino community. We had different ages, all different backgrounds. And so I think that the way that I uh, have encouraged uh, diversity is by uh, walking it and living it and, and walking the talk which means when you're talking about being inclusive, you don't look at some, the color of someone's skin or their orientation or their age or their ability or anything. You look at the person and you get to know that person for who they are and you evaluate that person based on their values and their character. And in that case, as an employer, are they the best person for the job? And I'm very proud that we have a very inclusive environment in my professional life. Well, as I think many of you know, I'm a Quaker and a member of the Florida Avenue meeting, and for many years, our meeting house was, I believe, the only house or one of the very few houses of worship where we would have gay marriages. Um, and we would have, we had actually a couple, one of the first to get married under the care of the meeting, come to dinner at our house to celebrate. Um, I have to thank, however, the GOBT community, and some of those folks are here now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to single them out, but being very supportive and helpful to me when I was first running for school board because they pulled me aside and they said, Libby, there's some things you need to understand. And they really helped me start to understand a little bit, see the world through their eyes. And then when I got on the school board, I started to learn how serious this issue is. One of our, one of our um, surveys showed that there was a high level of, of, of suicide thoughts among our students and problems with depression, and almost always it correlated with students who were gay or lesbian. And we needed to do something about that. We also needed to make sure we didn't have bullying. So when I was on the school board, we adopted an anti-bullying policy. We actually got national recognition. There's still more to do, but most of our schools are welcoming places, and if we find that there's any bullying going on, we address it. And I'm very proud to have been part of that. We made sure our policies were, as much as possible in the state of Virginia, treated everybody equally. I will tell you, I have never supported a political candidate in this county without sitting that person down and saying, all right, Gay marriage, what do you think? It's a constitutional right, of course. I, mean, I check these things out. These, these issues are very important to me. Now we need to make sure that we, we have the right uh, employee policies in, in, our, um, in our county government. We need to move forward. I'm very aware of these issues. I love celebrating it when we finally got DOMA because my, my sister and her wife finally were able to get married. And it was so exciting to be able to celebrate with them. And again, I have to thank some really good friends of mine. When my sister first called to tell me that she was lesbian and started, she was a little uncomfortable, and I thought, oh, I know where this is heading. I was able to be really supportive to her, and I will be always grateful to my friends for that. Thank you.